The 38-year-old Trumplow County Jail Complex in Whitehall may be getting a multi-million dollar upgrade. Tonight, county representatives will be talking about a proposed new justice center. News 8 Now's Tyler Job tells us why county leaders are saying an upgrade is needed now. Law enforcement facilities like this one in Whitehall are meant to be secure inside and out. Ten years ago, this was really driven by bed size. You know, how, how, many, how many people could we house in our jail? The Trempolo County Jail can hold up to 24 inmates, but for years, the jail has been running out of room. We've been housing inmates out of county. You know, the, the small spaces up there um, can lead to the, the higher propensity for of injury. Sheriff Brett Semmingson says the new Justice Center that would connect to the jail's north wing will have 78 beds for inmates. We've had tuberculosis in our jail and MRSA and influenza, and we've really been limited in how we can isolate um, affected inmates uh, from one another, and uh, COVID has really exposed that. Security has to move inmates from jail to court in a public hallway. And we have had uh, inmates take off from court and, and run out the front door before staff could apprehend them. The security of the new Justice Center uh, really limits um, the possibility of that happening. The new facility would cost around $40 million. The borrowing strategy that the county is considering would be a 20-year borrowing. Project manager Kurt Berner says the county had some debt they'll be able to pay off. Therefore, taxpayers would not have to owe extra. They really align themselves um, in, in a way that uh, doesn't have an impact and an increase to the taxpayers in regards to what the borrowing looks like. Semmingson says extra security for both staff and inmates is too good of an opportunity to pass up. The list could go on about what this project can do to improve um, our services here in Trumpelow County. In Whitehall, this is Tyler Job, News 8 Now. Semmingson says the county will decide whether or not to go forward with the project next month. If it does go through, though, construction will begin in the spring of next year and be finished by late 2022. And the facility is planned to be 110,000 square feet and would be adjacent to the current building.